Hello and welcome to Thought for March the 5th. Our readings are Leviticus chapter 11, Psalm 110, 111 and 112, and 2 Corinthians chapters 3 and 4. And our thought is, he is not afraid of bad news. The Psalms are constantly full of challenging words. There are so many positive thoughts in them, but our lives are often invaded by situations that provoke negative thoughts. We need the positive, inspired words of the Psalms, Israel's hymn book that David began to compile more than 3,000 years ago. They are a great stimulus to positive thinking. The righteous will not be moved, we read in Psalm 112, verse 6. That is, he or she will not collapse, especially in times when they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Psalm 23, verse 4. When that happens, he is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord, Psalm 112, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, All those who practice it have a good understanding. Psalm 111 verse 10. The foundation of a life worth living before God is to be in awe of what God must be and to realize that he seeks to have a relationship with us. The recognition of this was the springboard to David's life. For this reason, he began the psalm with these words. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Psalm 111, verse 1. This became the springboard to Paul's life, also of James, who had spurned belief in his half-brother Jesus, we read in John chapter 7, verse 5. But he, like Paul, became to realise that what they saw as bad news then turned out to be the best possible life-changing good news for a fully meaningful life and an even greater life that is to come. James writes about those who doubt. The one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. James 1 verses 6 to 8. Such a person's heart is not firm. He or she will be afraid of bad news. James continues... Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he, or she, has stood the test of, uh, he will receive a crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.